Hey, hey, everybody, it's me, your old pal, Double D, for another quickie review. You know, if the set looks the same as, like, an old quickie review, I mean, it is the same place. But if you notice, like, something from an old review. That's, whoops, it's gone. It's because I'm shooting a lot of these at one go, because I haven't made a video in a long time, you know, depression's a bitch and all that. But let's um, jump right into the video. If you want to, you can always give me a thumbs up. That always helps with my... Plus, I've been kind of sick lately. Let's uh, take a look. What do I have here? Something I... If you look back at a previous video, and I know all of you have watched all of my previous videos, all... I don't know how many. But here is... This will complete like a previous set that I showed before. It is the... Boom. Ghostbusters Egon Spengler from the... Well, what do you even want to call this? It says classic 1984 look. It says on the back, Egon Spengler. The brains behind the, the busting Egon Spengler takes on the most frightening ghost in town. And it just says it in different languages. I did do one a bunch of these a long time ago, but uh, I could never find Spengler Egon. Finally, yeah, I was in Target, and boom, there he was. I had to get him. I have all the Ghostbusters. Well, let's get them open and take a look at what we got here. There we go. Toss that. Many people don't know this, but Egon is one of my favorite Ghostbusters because he, uh, I like the odd one out. Now the ghost appears to be, each one as you know, comes with a ghost. Just a fat dude, you push the button in and boom. Action feature. Pretty much just a... That's right. And gone. The reason I got him here, of course, is for Egon. It's free hit from his plastic prison along with his proton pack. Now, if I remember correctly, this thing was a pain in the ass to get out of the last one, too. Ah, there we go. We'll just oh, see the back here. Now this figure comes with standard five points of articulation. Shoulders, leg, head. And it's a very cartoony look to Spengler. Not the cartoon cartoony, but you know, cartoony look. We'll attach his... Okay, for some reason it has to go on like this, even though... No, maybe it doesn't go there. Where the heck does this thing go? Maybe there. I don't know. It doesn't attach well. But that's, yeah, as you can see, the suit is the basic Ghostbusters one suit. You can tell by the patch location and the design. Now you want to see something else I got. I splurged. And I stand up, Spangler. And I got this. Oh yes, I was so excited when I got this. I would never spend this much money on something. Because I don't make that much. But I, I blew my entire month's action figure class thing when I bought this. But it's, the scene in the movie is just so touching. Now you notice it's still in the box. But there's a reason for that. I'll get to that in a minute. It's um... One of the best scenes in the entire movie. I didn't cry. You cried. But it, um, yeah, it's still in the boxes. Where I, I want to be able to display it in a nice place. And frankly, right now, my, the only place I have up here in the apartment is kind of full. Until I can get around to cleaning that up. I've been kind of busy lately. Life, death, and all that. 
And uh, but once I do, then this sucker's coming out because it has to be put in that pose. You know, him behind her, holding the proton packs, charging it with his ghostly energy, lending his strength. I'm not crying, you're crying. Moving on. So that's a future video. Back to this Egon. I do like the cartoony look. Most of the, all the other figures are down in the garage. His neck is like really, really long. But this one will definitely probably end up in the garage too because it doesn't fit with my decor. But I wanted to add it to my collection. I already have representations of the Ghostbusters up on my shelf. You can't see them, but they're behind the Jokers at the moment. The, the last set they released, not the movie ones. And it uh, looks pretty cool. I much prefer this look to his real Ghostbusters look. Oh, that is still iconic. Extreme Ghostbusters look, that ponytail, I can never forgive that. But uh, that looks cool, and that's that. Of course, the photon backpack. Good details, though. It really should, if you try putting it in the correct pose, you know, with the gun facing down, so we can reach back and grab a hold of the controls, this thing, and aim. It doesn't really work too well. Let's see how well it works when it's in the hand. Kind of small. There we go. It's uh, not very accurate to look to the pack, the thrower, and but you know, it is what it is, especially for the price point of what was it? Eight dollars, nine dollars. Anyways, looks cool. And uh, yeah, I had my eyes on this style Ghost Echo One that they have at Walmart for twenty five dollars, but haven't been able to, I have no place to display something like that, and that needs to be displayed if you have it. I do have the trap, but that's in my living room. And as you know, girlfriend don't like it when I film out there. But still, this is pretty cool. Who's your favorite Ghostbuster? Let me know down in the comments. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and we're going to let you go now. Remember, keep busting. And uh, stay weird. Double D. Out. Who you gonna call?